Shalab. Understanding Holtec Mech Encoder and Decoder IC. The Encoder IC is called ST12E and the Decoder IC is called ST12T. Basically, they have operating voltages from 2.4 volts to 12 volt and they are CMOS ICs. Encoder HT12E HT12E has 8 address that means from A0 to A8 has 8 address and another 4 address slash data lines. The data set on these 12 lines that is this 8 plus this 4 this 12 lines is serially transmitted when the transmission enable pin that is pin number 14 is taken low that is from high to low. The data output appears serially on D out and that data appears serially at D out. That means in a situation if we have all the address pins connected to VSS that is ground and we send 4 bit data here only 4 bit data here but actual transmission will take place as 12 that is 8 plus 4 12 and that will appear serially that th now this 4 bit data will appear serially at D out only when the terminal enable a transmission enable is taken from high to low momentarily. The, this data is transmitted four times in succession. It consists of different length of positive and negative going pulses that is more of understanding when you go to more details about it. We got two pins for the os setting the oscillator frequency and it is only the R value of the timing of the RC time constant the C is internally built in and all that we have to do we have to change the R we have to put a resistance here and that will determine the frequency the internal oscillator frequency of the decoder the internal oscillator frequency of the decoder is 50 times the oscillator frequency of the encoder this is the encoder IC and this is the decoder IC and since the internal oscillator frequency of decoder IC is 50 times the encoder IC this then we have to choose a value for our project chosen as 3 kilohertz and 150 kilohertz that means we have 3 kilohertz for the encoder IC and 150 kilohertz for the decoder IC so how do you go about the resistors we go about the resistors as for in our project we have gone for the encoder IC that is for pin number 15 and 16 a value of 1 mega ohms and for the decoder we are gone for a value of about 51 kilo ohms it is exactly not in the same value but it depends on the graph so from the graph we could find that this has to be about 51 kilo ohms as compared to this encoder at about 1 mega ohms one can choose other values uh, based on the graph but typically these values are being followed and the encoder begins with a 4 watt transmission cycle upon receipt of transmission enable low that we have discussed upon transmission enable going low this cycle will repeat itself as long as the transmission that is transmission enable or D8 or D11 is held low once the transmission enable returns high the encoder output completes and its 
final cycle and then stops as shown in the timing diagram below. The HT12D that is the decoder IC here we are trying to show how the transmitter and receiver are receiving the data. These are given in terms of switches and these also are given in terms of switches for the purpose of checking but actually these four pins will be coming from the microcontroller whereas all these eight pins will be grounded so these address all the address eight pins are zero and uh, the data pins depending on the controller the logic input will be appearing here and as we say this resistance value and this resistance value that means the this has to be 50 times than this value in order to match the frequency and which is roughly around say 3 3 kilohertz and 150 kilohertz and d out is given to a transmitter module because this is a serial data which is coming and this transmitter module has a capacity of accepting serial data and which is transmitted and in the receiver end we receive those and then again it goes to the data in and it matches the if the address matches then only the output appears here and that is also indicated by a valid transmission at pin number 17 so the so the 12 D the decoder IC is same we have got again seven address pins and this is the ground that is the negative and this is the supply and uh, this is a valid transmission pin and then we have also the same oscillator two oscillator pins for fixing resistors here and we have four data um, pins and then we have one D in pin that means the data will whichever has been transmitted from the encoder whichever has been transmitted out has been encoder and will enter the decoder here at pin number 14 and how it enters we have just seen in the transmission and receiving arrangement so the HT12B receives data from 12E in the D in pin serially in D in pin serially if the address part of the data received matches with A0, A7, with A0 to A7, if the address data matches four times in succession, the valid transmission, the valid transmission is taken high. The data on pins A8, AD8 through AD11, AD8 through AD11 appears on D8 through D11 through D8 to D11 that is appears here from D8 to D11 on 12D thus the device acts a receiver of 4 bit data that is 16 possible codes with 8 bit addressing that means almost 256 channels are possible but at the moment we are using we are making this zero here ground and in encoder also we are making this ground right so we are operating on these pins data on these pins received serially on these pins and that is how they are interfaced from the microcontroller for onward functioning. Thank you.